guys, welcome back to MK Mobile. So, I've been reading patch notes and I've been reading the comments that you guys left, and you say that Kano and Scorpion Special One was super buffed. And uh, I'm not a huge fan of Kano, but I'm a huge fan of Scorpion, so we're gonna check out the Scorpion today. Maybe we'll check out Kano in one of the next videos. So, his Special One is now lethal. Which means if you hit your enemy with a spear, before it wouldn't kill them, it, it would just uh, stun them, or if, if they blocked it, it would do nothing. Now it has it's possible to kill people with a spear. If you want an if you want an example, what, what if you don't uh, know what it means to have like a lethal attack? It means that like certain attacks. They leave your opponent at like 1 HP in the end, but they cannot uh, deliver the lethal, the finishing blow. And Scorpion Special 1 was one of those special attacks. But no anymore. Not anymore, apparently. Take a look. Let's let's test it out. Look at it. He, kill he killed him. Before, he would just pull him. And then you'll have to hit him again to kill him. And sometimes... Uh, he would uh, take out or do stuff like this. Now it's impossible. Now it's a huge, it's a huge buff to Scorpion. Uh oh. Now you can even kill them if they block it. Sometimes you just need to deliver one more hit, and you just panic press special one. And now it's not a just not such a bad idea. I, I know he's gonna reflect the stun, but I don't- Look at that! He's dead. Well... Almost. Okay, let me finish him, please. Sub-Zero. Let me finish this guy. Now let me finish Sub-Zero. Thank you very much. So they fixed Classic Scorpion as well. His special one no longer stuns, which makes sense. Honestly, he was probably the most overpowered gold character for the entire previous update. Stun, bleed on special one, and pull the weakest enemy. It's like, it's it's ridiculously overpowered special special one. It's probably the best special one. It's still one of the best special ones in the game. Just having bleed and ability to pull the weakest character. Stun is definitely overkill on that one. Now it's a little bit more balanced. Oh my god. I sometimes don't understand this game. I have a gold team. It, 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 it. I'm facing pretty much almost maxed out diamond team Fight. with full gear. <laughs> Who this game thinks I am? And of course they have all, all have block breakers. Yeah, we're done here. I'm pretty sure we're done here. This is game over. This is this matchmaking is such garbage. All right, let's do some old-fashioned spear spam. Ah, oh, of course she does that. Actually, this new lethal spear uh, can interfere. I think it might actually interfere with spear spam strategy. Because now when you kill somebody with a spear, your enemy can tag intercept you. Like, let, let me try to demonstrate. So, if I kill this guy with this... What? Oh, he died. Yeah, he died and Raiden basically immediately intercepted me. And I got incredibly lucky that I didn't get hit with special attacks. So... So yeah, this just makes spear spam a little bit more difficult and less viable. Did they do it because of that? Look, I didn't even have a chance to block his next attack. That's what tag intercept is. And when you kill an enemy, you want to you want to be able to like if you kill an enemy with a special attack, you most of the time going to get tag intercepted. So that's why Scorpion Special 1 was so good, because he could uh, 
do spear spam, you basically get him to 1 HP, and then you do one hit of a normal attack, and immediately block. This way you can avoid being tag intercepted, but now it's pretty much impossible to avoid it, so... Again, definitely good thing that uh, the lethal spear, but but that's one drawback that comes from it. And I wonder if it was deliberate, because spear spam was such a cheesy strategy, and now it's it's nerfed significantly because of this. Oh my, Hanzo, bye bye. That was nice, knowing you for a bit, very little bit. Oh, he's a lot. <clears throat> I take it back. Yeah, maxed out, maxed out circle of shadow team. Are you serious, game? And he is block breaker immune. This is it. This is game over. There's nothing you can do against that. How am I parried against this team? This team is 50 times stronger than my team. This is literally one of the best teams in the game. With fully maxed out insane gear. And I have a rare team. Oh, God, I'm not... I'm not even... Look, look at this. Look at look at the, I'm gonna show you the gear on these guys. So fully mixed out circle of shadow team. Four mixed out epic pieces of gear. This one has two mixed out and two uh and two epic and two rare pieces. Three epic, one rare. Like how is it fair? <laughs> All right, let's let's play a few more. I'm still, I'm still not sure if I like this change or not. Because technically, if you were able to land your spear, it would stun your enemy, so you would be able to finish them anyway. So it kind of the only the only situation when it's uh, useful is when you are you want to finish them when they're blocking. So now you can do it with a spear. But that's like, I feel like that's such a... Such a small percentage of situations where you where you would want to use it. Like, look, I'm trying to do the spear spam right now. Okay, this time it worked because he didn't actually die to my spear. Which was lucky for me. I mean, spear spam, spam still gonna work. It's still gonna be viable strategy. It's just gonna take... Uh, take more luck. Like, y y you have two opportunities to get tag intercepted during your spear spam run. Uh... So, there is a chance you're gonna get destroyed with one of them, so... Again, it's it still can work, there's just a little bit higher failure rate. I mean, it's from, it went from 0 to... Like, I don't know, maybe 50%, so you still should be able to... To do tough tower runs with this strategy, just may take a few more tries. Alright. And also, you still need to do two combos in between your stunts, so it only it only affects it negatively when uh, when your fatal attack lands on uh, on the actual spear attack, which is also going to be like maybe twenty percent of, of 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 all situations. So you have only ten percent chance of failure now from zero. So it's not it's not that big of a deal. Oh, come on! Stop it!
When I when I have block breaker, it takes me like 50 hits to break their blocks. They break from one. All right, let's do some spear spam, baby. Ah, bone shield for real. Come on, twice in a row. That's garbage. Like in this situation. Spear would kill him if he didn't have uh, invulnerability for eight seconds. God damn it! How many times is he gonna get a uh, freaking bone shield? What? All right, we're doing spear spam now. Are you serious? Every Am I missing something? He got bone shield every single time I did a spear attack. Where is my block breaker? I swear if I Every single time. Is this guy hacking or something? How is it possible? Alright, we're gonna do one more fight. So, after playing with Scorpion, honestly, that doesn't change that much for me. I, I still can't decide if it's a buff or a nerf. Because it feels like both. Also, did they nerf Block Breaker? Because I've been playing after update, I, I feel like I'm... Is that the same... What am I, what am I missing? How is... How is... How is the chain activates uh, Bone Shield every time? Is there a secret talent that I don't know about? Oh, you goddamn piece of... Every single time they they break my block from first hit every single time Now what I pressed it Okay, this time it worked out pretty well Are you serious? Every single time they broke my block from the first try. From the first freaking hit! Unsnare me! Please! I'm done. I'm done. I don't know. Something feels weird about this game right now.
I get bone shield on every spear. <laughs> they break my block from one hit, but it takes me like 10 hits to break their block. Some something is weird. I don't know, guys. Uh, it it might it may have nothing to do with the spear change, but I I don't think it's going to make a big of difference. It's like a little bit of a nerf and a little bit of a buff, so it kind of balances itself out. So I would say the Scorpion is still the same as, as, as he used to be. If you disagree, let me know in the comments. Let's discuss this, because I'm right now very upset because of all this stuff that's been happening. Like, you saw it. Every spear, bone shield. Then... Anyway, subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.